Say, folks, you ever been to one of them burger restaurants and you order you a burger and you wonder about where is the beef? Ha! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Well, I am fixing to remedy this situation for you with a Texas Toast Triple Cheese Burger Hickory Smoke. Stick around. is Kent Rollins and welcome to cooking with me in the backyard today the wagon is not around but what do we do here we talk about grilling we talk about cast iron we talk about easy simple recipes but whew, how they bring people together what are we talking about today a hickory smoked triple cheese burger with a special little mayonnaise sauce to go on top. So don't quit me before the end of this because I'm gonna do this a little different and we're gonna start that burger over some indirect heat to get us some of that good hickory smoke flavor. And then we're gonna move it right over to last. We're gonna use us some big old thick pieces of Texas toast to get this deal started. Woo, folks, it is gonna be good. So let's get into this and let's first talk about what kind of meat do we use for these burgers? Now, I love an 80-20 blend, and I'm using certified Angus beef, but when you go and pick up meat and it's already ground you're looking at the store, make sure you've got a little fat content in that meat. Don't just get that 98% lean. That's gonna be the driest burger you ever chewed on in your life. 80-20 ground chuck or ground sirloin is really good. But I'll tell you something that makes a really good burger, and if you got a grinder at home, you can do that. Mix you some 80-20 with some ground brisket. Whew, you'll be in good shape then. But y'all know when I'm cooking a steak, I always pre-season it, put it in the ice box, let it set. That's because it's not a processed meat. This is a processed meat, and if you put something on it and let it set for a while, you're gonna help dry that thing out. So I never season a burger till I'm fixing to go right on the grill. We're going to have some shrinkage on this beef. All meat you cook is going to shrink just a little. Now, Shan can see that we have some protrusions around here, and this is why I like to sacrifice this one piece of bread, because I'm going to go ahead and mash him just a tad here, just to make sure he's a little bigger. You can see how much he's hanging over there, and you they send you this heel for this reason, folks. Let's hear a round of applause for the heel of the day. He has done a good job. So what are we seasoning with? Some of this good Red River Ranch original seasoning. If you ain't got some, there'll be a link down there where you can find it. And I like to season pretty heavy. And I don't just like to just let it sit there. I like to mash it on there just a little. It's what you call the pat-pat method. Turn him over right careful like. Give him another shaking on this side. Well, folks, let's check the grill. It is hot on one side, not much over here on this side. Indirect meanings of cooking is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, first of all, lay them two burgers over here on this side. Then I'm gonna add some hickory chips to that over to get me some of that good smoke circulating. That's what's gotta happen. We got this and crack just a little, this and crack just a little on this side to get that smoke to flow back around and come out. So. Make sure you give it just a little air so you can trap that smoke in there just long enough to let it circulate all the way out. Like I told you, I'm using a combination of hickory and mesquite. I love the flavor that hickory gives to meat. Another good combination you might wanna use if you're cooking some beef, use you a little oak, maybe a little pecan. Mix some hickory in with that. You're gonna change that flavor. Now some woods can be very over powerful on smoke if you leave something in there too long. I don't like to use a cherry wood directly on a piece of steak or a piece of ribs like that. Fruit wood, I like to try to keep it for fins and feathers. Now, a good hardwood like oak, mesquite, hickory, pecan, I like to blend that well with beef, pork, or wild game. Well, folks, we've been on about three minutes, so let's take a little gander in here. I'm thinking we're gonna have to turn these pretty little fellers over. Yeah, see there, we're beginning to set up just a little. And I'll finish that grilling process here in a minute. I just want everybody to get some of that love. So we're probably going to go about another three minutes on this side. Folks, while them are finishing getting their little smoke bath, got me about two tablespoons of butter is what I'm going to use, but it needs to be softened butter so it will spread. Now, just take her over there and give her a good coating on that side. We're gonna lay the butter side down here in a minute. 
I like to go ahead and stack them right back up here. I like to put them somewhere to where I can keep them handy, but I know they ain't gonna get dried out by the wind. Where's that at? The other side of this grill. We've been on probably about another three. Looky there, folks, what is happening? Now, well, I'm gonna turn him over just so y'all can see him and see if we change the color of him. And you can see we did, but that burger is still just oozing some of that good red blood. So we're gonna put him over here to the fire, shut the lid on him. It ain't gonna take long, folks. Now over direct heat, we're probably gonna cook about two minutes each side to go ahead and get them burgers till the juice is clear. I don't like a burger that's well done and dried out. I do like me one that is medium to maybe just a tad to the medium well. I want them juices to be clear when you mash it. That is sort of a test signal. We gonna flip them, we are. And make sure you're flipping apparatus, apparatus. Apparatus is big enough to flip your burger. Looky there, whoo, son. I like that. Can you see that in that smoke? We're gonna trap him. About another minute or two on that side. Never get them burgers, folks, and get them and mash them on that grill. You ain't doing nothing but losing all your moisture and a lot of your flavor. So don't you know, folks, when I'm cooking a steak, I like them rare to medium rare. It's also not a processed meat. This has been ground, this has been handled. So anytime I have a processed meat, I'm gonna cook it to at least medium and go a little tad over. So let's go ahead and open this rascal up. And we're gonna leave that lid right there and we're gonna finish cooking them rascals. I'll move it over here where maybe Shen can get you a better picture of it out of that smoke. Still just a tad bit of blood in there. So back over here for about a minute, it's gonna go. Gonna flip them folks one time so we can see that other side. I'll get them right there and bring them right over here to where y'all can see them and you don't get smoke in your eyes. See that? Clear as a whistle. It's time for the first participant of the cheese family and that is the cheddar. We're gonna lay him right there. Now, while this cheese is melting over here on this indirect side, you know what's coming over here to join him on the heat side? The Texas toast. Butter side down the top layer, but they gotta have participants on them also. So, welcome to the Swiss cheese family. Now, what is this other side gonna get on there? Cause we don't wanna leave nobody out. I told you it was a triple cheese burger. Welcome to the provolone family. Mm -hmm. He gonna get to go on there next. One side Swiss, one side provolone, and look over here, two burgers that is cheddar. Now we're gonna just get them, looky there what is happening. And that cheese is beginning to get soft. Looky there, he's what I call a done deal. That was a quick save and a hot finger. What happens? Burger on some cheese. Right over here. Ooh, looky there, folks, I'm talking about cheesy goodness. All right, now before I started, I went ahead and sliced me two jalapenos in half, took the seeds out. I put them on the fire, rotated them till they got some good char and got good and tender. Now them are gonna go right on top of these burgers. So, here we are now, folks. Looky here what the beagle brought me. He don't eat veggies, but he'll bring them to you right out of the ice box. I do like me some romaine on a burger, so I'm gonna go ahead and put him right over there. Now the special little sauce that we have concocted for this, little mayonnaise, little adobo sauce, some Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of honey, smoked paprika, garlic powder, and a little salt and pepper to taste. And I like to just drizzle her right over there. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Good, juicy hamburger, certified Angus beef, all them layers of cheese. Mm. <laughs> that is probably the best burger I have ever eaten in my life, folks. That right there, folks, is fine dining. The jalapenos, the different kinds of cheese, you get that sauce. Whoa, beagler alarm. Beagler alarm, somebody's trying to sneak in and get the food. You can always tell when food is ready, people go to showing up. Now folks, I'm gonna tell you something to kick this up another notch of cheesy goodness. 
right when you put all these together over on the grill, take you a little more of that butter, spread right there on top, sprinkle you some Parmesan cheese on that grill. You talking about cheesy goodness. Whew, folks in Wisconsin gonna like this recipe because they're the cheese capital of the world. See all that good juice, folks? That is what you call a correctly cooked burger. Now, hey, it's Labor Day weekend coming up, remember? This would be a good way to close out the summer ending party. Get you some of these, cook them on the grill, folks. I guarantee you people will be saying, hey, it's a holiday again tomorrow. Can we come back over and eat at your house? Be sure and hit the subscribe button before you get out of here if you're not subscribed. And if you are, find a neighbor that ain't and tell him to hit it too because we want to share the food and the videos. We want to thank you for stopping by the backyard. It was a great day. God bless you each and every one. And Hickory Smoked Cheeseburger.